place. Hi. Like, can I just explore like the spookiest place of your house real quick? Cool, cool, sounds good. I got a nice place. This way? I right, thank you. Is it that? Makes sense. Welcome to Witticism Worldwide, a totally normal news show hosted by totally real humans. I'm your host, Al Lien. And, and I'm your other host, Zena Murphy. Today we have plenty of absolutely real and not made up human news. We all know how much humans love news. They can't get enough of this stuff. Precisely, Zena. I personally love to use my eyes to read the newspaper every morning. Learning about what all of the other humans do in their lives is so interesting. My favorite article was the one about a man named Archduke Franz Ferdinand. That one was so interesting. Ah, you must be thinking about a different one. That story happened back in 1914. There is no way any real human would still be alive that long. Oh, 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 of course. I must have been thinking about one of the many other assassinations that happened recently. There is no way I'm an alien that has been alive for hundreds of years, slowly plotting my take over the human race. Ha, 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 I am totally human. Of course you are, fellow human Al. Now, why don't we do what humans do and get right to the news? On Sunday, a ferry passenger tried sneaking onto a ferry boat in what obviously was a wig, sunglasses, and spoke in a fake, high-pitched accent. The crew, however, was able to see through their disguise and promptly kicked them off of the boat. Obviously, I myself would make sure my disguise was perfect, and this individual clearly hasn't observed humans long enough in their natural habitat on the ferry. Yeah, they don't know how humans act like on a ferry. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. The country of New Zealand is going to start taxing the burps of cows to reduce gas emissions into the atmosphere. That atmosphere of ours, right? Love that thing keeps us safe from threats from space. Clearly with that, nothing can, oh, I don't know, come from space and slowly overtake the human race by disguising as one. <laughs> oh, but I love cows. Let's hope they follow the rules and don't burp as much anymore. Why do you seem so nervous? Is something wrong? <laughs> what are you 
talking about? Listen, I just love news so much that it makes me laugh weird. I mean, I love news so much. I constantly look at it. It takes up every hour of my day. <laughs> Speaking of which, shouldn't we get back to the news? Oh, oh, of course. I just wouldn't want anyone to accidentally let the world know about a secret planet overtaking mission. I know you would never do that. Oh, I would never. Nope, not me. I love news too much. Anyway, how could we forget? It's finally Halloween, the holiday of sweat. Did you know on Halloween, there's an increased chance of getting away with human crimes? Well, that's just one of my many fun facts I have about things here on Earth. In recent holiday news, a Pennsylvania school district has canceled their Halloween parades this year because they were worried some kids would not be able to attend in costume and not be included. Kids, it's no big deal. Just do what I did when all the Halloween parties I went to said I wasn't dressed up. I would just say I was dressed up as a human, a regular, normal human. Nothing weird at all, unlike my co-host who has something fishy going on. Uh, okay, but I swear, I am the normal one here, okay? I read the normal human news about the normal human customs, Fat Bear Week. Apparently, the contest had had a controversy as ballots are stuffed in support of a bear named Holly. Wit Worldwide will keep you updated as the results come in, but if you ask me, all this bear talk is like hogwash. Nothing goes in, nothing comes out. I'm way too distracted by all this talk of weeks. I mean, what the hell is that? There has been a real fear surrounding your children's Halloween candy. There have been reports by the DEA of parents finding rainbow fentanyl pills found in the child's trick-or-treat baskets. This is seemingly a latest in a number of attempts by Mexican cartels to look like candy for your stupid, dumb, little dumb kids who can't see something that is in disguise right in front of them, which is not something I worry about because obviously I would not have any idea what that would be like. I sure love that normal human news. Wouldn't you say, Al, is, is that's your real name, right? Al? Of course it is, Xena, right? I must say, as a fellow human, that name does not sound very human at all. Uh, um, well, maybe if you got out once in a while and left your home, you would see that there are people that have differences from you. I, I see it all the time when I leave my planet. Planet? As in like with the pizza. Uh, never mind that, Al. Why don't we talk about that meteor shower that was seen the other night around Indiana? Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Being a normal human and all. Duh, duh, uh, 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 well, of course not, but I bet our weatherman, who is not sus in any way, would know all about that. Let's go to them now. Hey guys, I'm back. You're here for weather, right? I knew it. Anyway, you'll be happy to know that the best time of the fall season is almost here. If you're wondering, that's when all the trees are at their best in brightest colors. Uh, yellow, uh, orange, red. Uh, you know, red is probably one of my absolute favorite colors. It represents everything I love most. Uh, what are your guys' favorite colors? I'd have to say green, I think. Um, colors. Uh, what's the one that's like red and, and white? Pink? Um, yeah, I, I think yes. Pink. Pink is wonderful. Pink is ugh, fine. I mean, if you're weird, but you guys seem okay. Hey, wait, while I'm here, you guys want to play a game to celebrate the holiday? It's a guessing game. I draw a picture on this. Mm. 
chalkboard and you tell me what it is. Just between you and me, I think the weather is kind of boring, so I'm trying to spice it up. Uh, this is all I got for now, so <laughs> bear with me. Okay, ready? Wait, I have a couple of, of, of questions. Uh, uh, is that some sort of gas explosion? Uh, no, uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, but between the two planets? N no, you guys, it's a fart. Jeez, okay, okay. Try this. Oh, I know this. It's the it's that one guy that went missing. How do you know that? Can't everyone feel his fear residue all the times he's been scared in here? He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Nick is always scared. <sighs> I bet he was before he went missing too. Damn, these Indiana serial killers always taking the stupid ones. Well, now I'm pooped out. <sighs> oh no, don't be sad. There's more people who are scared out there. I mean, Al here seems to be trembling in his boots. In fact, he kind of stinks. You can make him uh, your new Nick. Oh, pooey. Well, I'll think on it, I guess. I gotta go sit down, though. All the sadness is getting to me. I'll see you guys next time. Huh, that was odd. Poor guy. They seem pretty sad near the end there. It doesn't matter though. Sometimes I feel bad for all of the emotions humanity has, like they deserve mercy. Do, do I really stink? I don't, do I? <laughs> Tell you what, you can go wash up a while while we cut to a commercial break real quick. I'm sure there's enough time to wash that stink out of your trousers. Damn it! Fine, we'll be right back, Wetticism. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Elite Chungus420. Today, we're gonna be doing another banger, just hoggers video. It is 3 a.m., guys, and we're going to summon the Wiggler. This is going to be insane and super scary, guys. So be sure to decimate that like button and smack that subscribe button in the face, just like my dad. We have to be super careful, guys. The Wiggler is very scary when summoned. He will wiggle all over the place and you will die. It's said that the Wiggler used to live in this studio and everyone loved him, but then something changed and nobody loved him anymore because he would make people die. And that just wasn't lit, guys. So, we are going to call the Wiggler and summon him at 3 a.m. Hello? Hello? Is this the Wiggler? Yo, guys, we are literally calling the Wiggler right now. Oh. Okay, guys, I honestly forgot that the Wiggler can't talk, so that's why we can't hear him. But it's okay, because I think that the ritual worked. Oh, yo, guys, the lights literally just went out. If you're just as scared as I am, leave a comment and a like on this video. Oh! Yo, it's the Wiggler. Hello? Mr. Wiggler? Welcome, everyone. Are you confused? So am I. The Astrograph is Witticisms Worldwide's new segment. Every other week, we'll be taking a deep breath and relaxing in the peace of the studio lights, asking the stars what's coming for us in the next seven days. Come, sit down, do your favorite yoga pose, and listen closely. 
Overall, I can tell that the next week is going to prove exciting for those watching. You might find yourself kissing another person or losing a beloved family friend to a bike accident. Either or, you will end up smiling. Next, I'll be going over each individual horoscope in order to prepare us for the sun's mighty fate. First up, as always, the fiery Aries. Show your butt on live television. It doesn't hurt to reveal the parts of yourself that you're self-conscious about. It's in now. Taurus, strong and grounded. Become something unfathomable. Dress yourself up or tell others you have more power than they do. I know you care, but you should stop, just this time. Gemini, do that thing you've wanted to do to someone. I know it may get you in big trouble, but only if you're caught. Consequences are temporary. Cancer, it doesn't matter what you do, everything will always turn out bad. Even with time, nothing remains. Because of this, you should give up. Leo, show your true wild side by doing something nice for someone. If you have a friend who wants to be an animal, get them a fursuit to show them you care. Love can be shown in many ways. Virgo, check your hair for fleas. Libra, it's a sign of the times if you find yourself throwing up in a garbage can somewhere you're unfamiliar with. You're growing up, so be proud of that. Scorpio, oftentimes when you're sad or depressed, we turn away from the people we love most. One of those people, for many of us, is our father. I know what you're thinking. Dad, he would never understand. But hear me out. Send him a picture of a dog, any dog. He'll say something crazy enough to distract you from the pain, I promise. Sagittarius, have a passion? Forget it. Work in an office for the rest of your life. If you've ever wanted to have a movie like main character arc, now is your time. Capricorn, begin. Aquarius, this is not a good sign. What I feel for you is an overwhelming change in the atmosphere of your world. Start running. For if it catches up to you, you might just be toast. Pisces, start flirting with a stranger. You don't have time to make a deep connection, but some of the people you meet might have a word to say about it. Forget that and love what you can before they get you and run. And that concludes all the signs in relative order from greatest to least. Tune in next time for a comprehensive look into what you should do for the Thanksgiving season. God, this air is so thin here. I feel like I'm dying every time I hover to the bathroom. I, I mean, walk. Maybe you should go slower. I saunter like a sad old man going to bed everywhere I go. It really shows my human side. I didn't know you had one. I didn't know your kind was so sassy. Say that again, I dare you, you freak. And health news, periods a totally normal human phenomenon that women must go through that the state of Texas has decided to tax. They are specifically introducing a new tax on tampons. This has been a common occurrence in the United States as the government really likes to limit the rights of women. What a bunch of jerks. Luckily, CVS has decided to fight back by making all menstrual products 25% off. I generally think this is incredible news. Shouts out to CVS. A school superintendent was arrested after crowd surfing at a local football game. When the going got tough, the team's quarterback stepped up and delivered an amazing Hail Mary pass. After the huge play, which led to a game-winning touchdown, the superintendent ripped off his shirt, jumped into the crowd, and rode it all the way to the concession stand, where he proceeded to buy everyone free popcorn. Well, while the police were not a fan of the man's stunt, calling it wrong and immoral, the kids at the game said it was hella lit and totally rad. A pastor was recently let go after giving kids I Heart Hot Youth Pastor stickers. Honestly, I don't see how he didn't see this one coming. 
like it couldn't have been an accident. He bought those stickers with the intent to give them away. Anyway, the man has been put on permanent leave and is currently hiding out somewhere in South Mississippi to avoid a beating from a parent of said kids. A Japanese woman has recently found herself scammed out of $30,000 by a man claiming to be an astronaut. The man supposedly claimed that he was in love with her, proposed to her, and then asked her to pay a $30,000 landing fee so that he could marry her. After spending the next few days asking for more money, the lady finally got suspicious and got in contact with the police. I too have fallen in love with many space men and women. The sunset on Venus is quite something. Take a girl there and you will absolutely get a second date. Ah, a classic Venus sunset. I personally love Mars in the winter time. There is nothing quite like it. That's where I had my honeymoon. Really? That sounds wonderful. I would love to go there sometime. We should go. It's really great this time of year. Uh, are you guys actually human? What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, that's, what, what's wrong with you? I mean, you guys seem to know a lot about space. Are, are you sure you are aliens? Whoa, man. Where is that coming from? Yeah, like, that's sort of messed up, just assuming we're aliens, like, dude. I mean, hey, my bad, but I mean... Nah, nah, just drop it, okay? Let's get back to the news. A new development in Witticism's recent local incident has been revealed to us. Apparently, according to our investigative crew, no new developments have taken place as of recent which is an interesting development in a thickening plot. I wonder if we could use our totally real and not alien mind powers to figure out who did it. Oh, I forgot about those. Want to try it? Sure. Hey. Whoa, 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 you guys. You don't have to do that, do you? Uh, I mean, that really doesn't seem necessary. What well, seems to be the problem, Chloe? We're just trying to help with the investigation. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why, uh, why don't you want to help us? Uh, can we talk outside for a bit? What seems to be the problem, Chloe? Okay, I'm going to be honest here. I have no idea who you guys are, and as a producer, I think I would remember hiring you. I mean, it's not our fault you don't remember who you hired. It seems kind of like a you problem. Okay, you know what, that's fair, but I'm just saying you should stay out of this investigation. Uh, why? We just want to help our fellow humans. Okay, see, when you say things like our fellow humans, it's really suspicious, and I don't need a couple suspicious people ruining everything. Suspicious, it seems sort of rude. Yeah, like what the heck, Chloe? I mean, come on, you guys are so weird. <laughs> Between the speech patterns and the way you use the word human, I mean, it, it almost seems like you guys are like aliens. <sighs> How did you know? Know what? What are you talking about? I can't believe some weatherman ended up finding us out. This is the worst. What are you- Silence, human! We will not stand for this! I say we get out of here. I agree. What the hell? Who hired those guys? I'm... I'm gonna head out. Okay.
mean, it's not our fart you don't remember. <laughs> it's not our fart. <laughs> Do I know the rest? I don't know how to spell it. You know, I don't like how American movies depict al us aliens. You can't, you can't say that because we're not. They're not supposed to know that we're aliens. Uh, well, we this is for the bloopers. Ah, uh, right. Of course. Yeah. That the, humans love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, our bad. Love you, person. I love you too, Nick. You were the, <laughs> you're the only human that you I want You gotta kiss alive. him back, he kissed you, you gotta kiss him back. Mm. Oh God. Thank you. Traumatizing. Of course it is Xena, right? I must say, as a fellow human, that does not, that name f Right, Xena, wasn't that like Xena of the 21st uh, yeah, century Yeah, Xena the warrior princess? Yeah, yeah, the warrior uh, princess. that's what it was, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm more of a Sonya kind of girl. Sonya the barbarian, or Son Red Sonya, my bad. Yeah, please. Seema, do a research. Yeah, please. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> I'm so scared. Welcome, everyone. Are you confused? The astrograft is, what? Oh. <laughs> Are you confused? Because I am. <laughs> the astrograph. The way that you said CBS, it was like EA Sports. So like CBS, it's in the champ. I don't know, in the tampons. It's in the blood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out CBS. Fire tampons. <laughs> South Mississippi is so specific. Like, no, you couldn't do it in North Mississippi because they'll find you in North Mississippi. You gotta go down to South Mississippi. I know a guy in South Mississippi. Don't worry, he can hook you up. Oh, I thought that the person that was missing was Nolan because I thought you were gonna say his hair looks like a fart cloud and that would have been funny. <laughs> he is also missing. I am now missing as well.